Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul. Actually, I have several Dollar Tree hauls and I'm gonna record today wearing the same outfit with my same coffee because I need to get this stuff done so I can do some crafting. I've got my coffee this morning. It is a Sunday morning and I have Luna Dog coming so I also wanna get this done so I can put all this stuff away before she gets here. Let's go. It's, this is just a mismatch. Mismatch. There is no rhyme or reason what's happening over here. But, guys, look what I found. The wooden signs in the tall. I grabbed two green, two of the blue. Although I don't love this blue, it's okay. But I might make it a navy. I prefer navy blue. And I'm thinking I'm going to do a snowman snowflake kind of decor for winter after Christmas before spring. So these are gonna come in handy for that. I have some navy blue spray paint. The one thing is there, it almost feels like chalkboard, but I don't think it is. It's some type of a coating on them, which I think is fine. You can get them and cut them off too, or like what I'm gonna do on cup one DIY is just, or I've already done is cover that. So I got them in the blue. And, oops, I'm sorry, Dubs. And I got them in the green with the Christmas tree. And I don't mind the green at all. I love it. Even though I'm doing black and red, I can still do pops of color. But again, if I want, I can spray paint this. Not a problem. I've been spray painting things like a mad woman. I'm currently spray painting something that you will have already seen in my vlog in my front yard. Because that's how life rolls. Um, I found these snowflakes and somewhere I have more. I haven't decided, but I feel like I wanna to try to make a front porch sign. And if I can find the right size letters to spell out like snow or something, or not even put a word on it, I'm not sure, but I love these. They're pretty thick. Although I feel like if I took them somewhere, I could have a family member um, cut them in half for me so I could do like some different design. And they have this weird hanger thingy again, which is fine, I can take that off. But I love the snowflakes and I think I have six more because I wasn't sure. Ugh. This is everything guys. I found the pom poms. So I got it in green, white and red for now. If I see some more white, I might get it because I feel like that's, I can use white all the time. Red for Valentine's day and green for like St. Patrick's day. So I always try to think ahead to different seasons of what I can use these crafts for if I don't get to it for Christmas because I do buy a lot of stuff that I can't always get to everything right away. And what I don't, I do donate at the end of the season. So I grab the pom-poms and these are pretty, I mean, this is a very good deal. They're big pom-poms and you get three yards of this trim. So I grab one of each and when I go back, if I see more, I'll grab some more white. These, and I know I have another set of these, but this is amazing, guys. These are little kits. You get a piece of wood in the back. They have um, slices in them so that these little wooden pieces can stand up and make a 3D sign. You could paint them, you could stain them, you can leave them just like they are. Decor done. With the kids, I mean, how easy. Or if you want to, you could take like these trees, the three of them are connected and put them in a different DIY. So I got the ones with the, looks like a gingerbread house or a little house, church, whatever. I got the one with the snowman. It does have a sign that says Xmas. I'm not really a fan of that. So I probably will just take that piece out and maybe put something else. But this also has the green Christmas tree and it has two candy canes. And then this one is the creche or the manger. And I thought this was great. And I think I'm gonna give this to my cousin for her house. So these are the three that I found, but I think I have another one because I went a little crazy. But for now, we got those three. And I think those are fantastic, especially if you have little ones. They can paint it, color it, markers, crayons, and then you can sand them up and they would be like a perfect, a perfect gift or little like decor piece that they created all on their own or that you created. Now, I'm starting to get candy for Christmas, so you'll see this candy again, but I grabbed the Andes Snap Bars. These are big, like the Andes Candies, and it's chocolate and peppermint. I love these for gift baskets. 
even if the folks don't love them, <clears throat> they give you some height in the basket and some color. So I grabbed two of these. I plan on putting together a basket for either Thanksgiving or Christmas. Probably Christmas, I think we're going to an Airbnb and just put it by the coffee bar with all kinds of candy and snacks and everybody can just grab what they want. But for now, I bought the Andes and then this is part of a gift for somebody who loves chocolate and caramel and these are the Linders, Lindor truffle brand. But these are caramels. I know, right? And they're beautiful. And again, they make, you know, I love the height that they will bring to any gift gift or gift basket. A stocking, like how cute would these be on the Christmas morning sticking out of the top of somebody's stocking? I don't know, I thought it was fun. And the person that I'm giving the caramels to, I'm trying to find really fancy caramels, 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 however you pronounce it. Uh, because and I'm making a bag to put it in all right um I found these at two of my stores these are just Hanes face masks they're um caught in like t-shirt or underwear material and I've opened one box and they work great they're a little tight for me I don't even feel like I have a big face so they may not work for the men uh, but they do they can be a little small now the picture shows a bendable nose piece But they've put a sticker over that I think that these do these do not have a bendable nose piece And they had it was a 10 pack which I love keeping these in my car They also had a five pack of children's size which blows my mind that you're gonna put five for the kids I don't know anyway Hanes brand masks and you know i'm still masking when i go out i do have some health underlying health issues i'm actually getting my third vaccine tomorrow morning okay i found the ijoy electronic wipes with the 70 percent isopropyl alcohol this 70 percent i believe will kill covid or germs and bacteria in general so it's always good to have these on hand especially if you're out and about you set your phone down or your glasses or something you can kind of use these to clean your electronics. Well, Mr. Wellington over here has now decided that my basket that holds my blankets is his new bed. I, I don't know. Guys, I can't with these cats. Anyway, I found the iJoy and you get 50 individually packaged wipes, which is great for your purse. Um, I'm sorry, Snuggle is out with Cozy Evergreen. Like what? This is Renews It. Um, these don't last oops, a whole long time, but I love putting them in like closets or under my sink or something at the holidays, especially when I open it up, I get this, you know, smell of Christmas and then Glade, hello Glade at the Dollar Tree. And this is cashmere woods and I absolutely love this smell. So this is going in my bedroom. I love smelly stuff. I don't always buy these because I do feel like they don't last long and they're kind of a waste, but for a dollar and for the holiday season, they make my house smell yummy. I know some stores found the wax melts with Glade and those are really good. I have used those before. I have since put my wax melter away and just brought out the Bath and Body Works wallflowers because they work great. Um, if you have somebody in your family or yourself that loves to take a salt bath, this is a Hava. I priced this on Ulta for $11, this very bag. How it ended up at the Dollar Tree is my best guess, but this is Dead Sea Salt. So it comes from the Dead Sea. It's natural Dead Sea bath salts and it's great for your skin. Honestly, I would pour this whole container when I take a bath, this whole thing will go in my bath and you make it extra salty and then I soak because I have very dry skin and right now my eczema is flaring up which is unusual for me I usually get that in the spring but the weather here has been kind of like hot cold hot cold I'm assuming that's what brought it but anyway um if you're thinking of putting together like a bath basket for the holidays for somebody or a gift a birthday a mother's day or whatever sea salt doesn't go bad there's no best by date on it it's salt that they've extracted from the dead sea this is a fantastic gift that is not Dollar Tree brand, just as a heads up. Not that there's anything wrong with the salts from the Dollar Tree, but this definitely ups your game for less money. So I'm gonna use this. Actually, there might be a date on here. No, it looks like it's just a, like a um, batch number or something, but this is for me. I love taking baths. 
Um, in the, where the, the luminary stuff is, the candles and all that, I'm sorry, what? Are these adorable? I love them. The green, I'm even leaving the green because I just said I don't mind a pop of green when I'm doing mostly red and black. And they're little um, tea light holders. You put a little electric tea light back here and turn it on. How adorable are these? Now they had this size in red and green and this size in red and green at my store. Again, if this is not your decor or you want to use them after the holidays, spray paint is our friend, guys. This is perfect to spray paint any color you want. I'm tempted, but I'm not going to do it right now. But I love them and they're sweet. And this two of them sitting together, tear tray. I know I've been like harping about the tear tray, but this is perfect stuff to decorate a tear tray for not a lot of money. Or like a little kitchen shelf, a kitchen window. Put a little um, bottle brush tree in between them and make a little trio, perfect. I'm so excited about those. And then I found these at my Dollar Tree and I swear this is the first time I've seen the ones that are quilted with the little pearl and it's the battery operated votive or um, candle. And I enjoy these, especially if I want to um, there we go. It's not a super bright light, but it's just enough at nighttime. And it's, if you're in a house where you don't want to burn candles, you've got little ones, you want to put it in one of your kids' rooms, like these are great battery operated candles. They're not gonna like melt or tip over or get wax everywhere or catch on fire and they're great. And if you don't like the colors that these come in, these can be painted with chalk paint. You could put some ribbon around it, but they're great for decor. And I grabbed them because I had not seen those specific designs before. I feel like I've seen the regular, um, the plain ones, but I have not seen this style before. All right, what's next? I swear this is not all Christmas, but there's a lot of Christmas. Um, I grabbed some black chenille. Now I know that they have a set of red, white, and green, like the, tr the um, trim that I got. I haven't seen that yet, but they had this, it's chenille. It's super soft and it's great for decorating or like for my cross stitch to put around. I'm not sure, you know, Christmas, I I'm doing black this year and red because I've said that a thousand times too. So I think this would be great for some of my DIYs. So I grabbed one of those and I have the red candle already and I thought I would get the black one. These are great. I have one behind me. They burn, they're pretty safe. They melt down and it's fun. So I grabbed that and then I found in my like floral stuff, a box of all random ribbons. And I'm thinking they're coming from this Cream City Ribbon, eco-friendly, it's Ofre brand ribbon, and it looks like birch wood. Now, I don't need more ribbon, but this is great for the holidays, especially if you do a farmhouse. Um, this is fantastic. So I grabbed that, it just looks like birch, and that makes it easy and good for me to be able to, you know, just tie things. I don't do a lot of bows, but I do some. Um, I grabbed this totally awesome. LA's totally awesome. I love this stuff. It is not for the faint of heart. I mean, this stuff is pretty intense, but this is rust lime and calcium remover. And I have lime and calcium, hard, hard water. And I want to see if this works as good as lime away on my sinks and in my toilets and stuff. So I grabbed this and it's a decent sized bottle. It's 32 ounces. So I grabbed it, I've not seen this before, so I think this is a new product in my stores, but anything that helps with hard water is my friend. I have hard water. I know I need a water filter, but I can't afford that right now. Then I found in the, these are just the paper to go cups, but these are plain. So I can decorate these for Christmas or put them in a basket or put them on my coffee bar or just near my coffee maker and they don't have like the funky designs on them and they'll go with my decor. I did get one for Christmas at the Airbnb and I got one probably to use and it's five, there's five cups in here. And I think the cardboard does on one side says coffee on it, but that doesn't bother me. I can't open it because I won't be able to close it. Will I? Oh yeah, I will, here. 
And if you're doing a gift basket, or let's say you're having people traveling for the holidays, you can put them together a basket. So it's just a white cup and it says coffee on the front, which I love. And I could put some like Christmas stickers around here or Thanksgiving or whatever, but you get five cups with five of these sleeves and black lids. And I thought they were fantastic in this plain, you know, plain white color that will go with any decor. Not that I care if they don't match my decor. It just steps up my game, especially as I'm putting together things for my family. And for my own coffee bar, I thought that was fun. And for a dollar, I don't like to use a lot of um, travel cups like that, but sometimes they're handy, especially when I work at my part-time job. I take coffee with me and then I throw it away. All right, I found the other snowflake. And trust me, I did not wipe out my store. There were tons on the shelf. But I don't know what I'm doing with these yet, and I wanted to have enough. If I'm going to hang them maybe for my ceiling, I don't know. They'll be painted white for sure with some probably a little sparkle on them. So I bought, all together I have seven of these snowflakes. And yeah, I think they're great and I love them and I love that they're they're a little more sturdy than those wood ones, the chipped wood. I found one of these. I don't, have not seen the circles, which I love, the plain circles. This screams to me, coaster for the holidays. I don't know, we'll see. Have to fill the hole. But it's just a wooden round. It's a nice thick piece. I know some people use them for lids. Some people take them and put their glue, um, the vase on top just to give it some texture and some detail. I saw it and I said, I need that in my wood collection because I don't really have any plans for it right this second. And then I found this woven. This is fabric, guys. It's like um, an old fashioned lawn chair design. It's just a, a weave. They only had it in my store, navy blue. But think about this at a coffee bar with your cups and some treats and candy or next to it. I think this will be fantastic. Or a um, gift basket. If you're doing Christmas gift baskets, this is a good size for that. So you don't have to overfill it. You really want it to look full and then you can cover it. And then the basket can of course be reused. And this is a nice sturdy one. The metal frame is really sturdy on this. And then you have your fabric, which I think gives it a little more, um, upscale feel to it. I just got the one because that's really all I need in my life for my coffee bar. Um, probably for winter for me because of the navy blue color unless I decide that I'm going to gift it with some treats or something in it. I got a lot of stuff here guys because this is the time that they're putting everything out. Um, I found some Sonic drink mixes. What? This is ocean water. Naturally and artificially flavored, low calorie, zero sugar drink mix. I don't know what the flavor is. It just says take the iconic taste of Sonic ocean water on the go. So I'm assuming it's a drink that people know about. I don't know. And then I found another passion fruit, which I love this passion fruit. And these are great. They help me drink more water. I've got plenty, but when I see this, because I don't have any more of that, and I see something different, I like to try it. So I just grabbed two of those for myself. Um, I did get a Today is the Day book for me. I know I mailed one out in the giveaway. But with the holidays coming, um, these are great lists to keep in my purse, like fill them out and take them on the go instead of my planner. And it has the month, you can put your date up here, what you need to do and what your goals are for that day and any notes. So if I have errands to run, instead of taking my big planner, I like to just write down in here what I need, rip the page out and take it with me. I think it's fun. I don't understand the back, why there's two pieces of paper back here. I don't, I don't know, but um, I don't, I don't know, but we'll let it go. So that I got for that specific reason. I'm trying not to buy more notebooks, but sometimes you need them. Now, please people, and I know there's another one of these kicking around, but I think, think it's in another bag from my other haul for the winter time. So yes, these are little wooden pieces. Um, 
I'm sorry, what? It lights up. It lights up, it stands up, and if you cut this off, you will never see the hole. Um, these are 100% going in my tear tray or in front of it or around it or hanging from the middle of it, baby. So I got the snowflake. I grabbed the truck or the car with the or you know packages on top. You could, again, paint these, stain these. I may just leave them alone. I think they're adorable. And there was a couple more. I'm not sure which ones I picked up. I know I got the reindeer. I don't know if I bought the church or not. But I love them. They're tiny, but they are big enough to make a thing. And then if you walk by your tear tray, if you're entertaining, turn them on. How pretty is that? <laughs> oh, my battery's going. Okay, we're gonna hurry this one along. So I grabbed those. Excuse me, sir, can I help you? Thank you. I have a cat trying to um, get in my bag. I just have one more bag left. And all of this is, mostly for my niece, but I did grab myself some Hunt's tomato sauce in the can. Um, yeah, I needed it. I grabbed two. I make Indian butter chicken and you need tomato sauce. And I was out. So I just grabbed two cans. That's plenty for me. Um, I grabbed this for Sarah to take to school for her lunch. It's Cheetos, the um, mac and cheese, bold and cheesy. And it's just one of those little lunch servings. I thought she would enjoy that. So I grabbed it for her. I also got her this, which is two servings of brown rice and quinoa. So it's very nutritious. And she is a vegetarian. So I know she will enjoy having this. And it's two servings, so she can use it for a bigger meal and then eat it over a couple days. So, and it's VT, VT brand. And I think it's a product of the UK, it is. And it's just rice. It's a little heavy, but you know, whatever. And then for my um, treat basket for Christmas. I grab these Nutella because they're the pretzels with the Nutella. So on one side over here, you've got a bunch of pretzels and then up here you have a serving of Nutella. And I know we've all seen them with the breadsticks, but this was pretzel. And again, I'm putting together just a little treat basket because we're going to have people to the bed and breakfast and they're not staying. So they won't bring, you know, they won't bring their own food. So I want to have a basket of treats on hand for everybody to have while we're doing gifts or just visiting and I make a pot of coffee. That's kind of my plan for that stuff. And that is it. That is everything I have for this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoyed. You got some inspiration from the things that I found and I hope you find things at your store as well. All right, everybody have a good one. Bye.